India's biggest D2C exit. Mohit and Malika, the founders of Moms & Co, exited with a 500 crore sale of their company. In today's podcast, they talk about how this money and wealth has impacted their lives. The power couple talk about co-founders, team building, investing, how team issues are solved, and much, much more. guys suffering from the post founder exit syndrome like, <laughs> what next kya kare no which is why i think immediately we had to take the kids on holiday huh. so we've gone on holiday now we're spending time in bombay with family and meeting a lot of other people yeah. so uh, we've been transitioning out for a while right because it's been over a year hmm. uh, we hired a cbo so the day to day was already handed over business wise right uh, over the last 3 4 months we actually made a concerted effort not to go to office every day because then If you're a founder and you're an office decisions come to you Correct. and you actively want to say no there is now a team please use them right so we actually spent Again, less time in office started handing over so it's been a slow transition out mm. uh, i think it will hit us when one day we wake up and we have nothing on the calendar to say oh shit what do i do now yeah. so we haven't got there yet yeah you you are a calendar person from what i know i'm a very calendar yeah, person how are you dealing with it So that's what I'm saying, right? Both of us have a very different reaction to taking it. Uh. <laughs> I get up every day in the morning and say, "What are we doing today?" <laughs> right? and, and, and he's more like, he's more like, I, I'm going to chill. So I'm like, "What do you mean you're going to chill?" Like, yeah. okay, uh. and, and then he went for one holiday and second holiday, so he's taken a diving trip. He's right. done skydiving. He's done like all these really weird oh, things. Nice. Right? Like, yeah. So he's he's enjoying and creating more experiences now. Yeah. And I get up every morning saying that. This has to get over with, and we have to move on to start doing something, something so different. So you are the restless one out of the two. I definitely yes, more for sure. I'm definitely more restless. So I get up yeah. every day, and I find these odd jobs to keep myself really occupied and busy. Mm. And if there's nothing else, I think all the recharge that are currently happening on saying that I want to have a chat with you to discuss what stage my business is at, right. and how do I scale it from here. I'm actually saying yes to all those conversations. I'm saying like while wow. while there is time at hand. And mm. I need to fill my time. I can't have. I, I'm actually the more But restless. But aren't guy. you tired of like doing it again and again and again? You don't want like a rest no. and do some skydiving and no. scuba diving. No, I don't actually. I, no. It's really surprising that I don't. I I never got tired of it. I think yeah. I I I'm as a person. I thrive in chaos. Okay. I love the chaos. I love the fact that nice. I remember while we were building the mom school, there was one day in Mohit asked me saying mm. that, you know, we are walking into the office, but your calendar looks very free today. and you seem to be quite like relaxed about the whole instance of such a relaxed calendar right, right. i said yeah because i'll reach there and kuch na kuch phatega uh, and huh. something will have to get fixed yeah. and that was the day True. when the day started at 10 and ended at 10 in the night right because something broke somewhere and some yeah. conversations were happening internally right yeah, so we yeah. never had a dull day ever yeah um and i think that's what i really enjoyed i really enjoyed going and having very different set of conversations right like the entrepreneurship mm. is not going and doing that one job that you are doing right i'm not mm. looking at one thing correct i i have meetings that span from very varied levels of decision making as well correct. so you're having a conversation you're checking out the pnl you're seeing the balance sheet you're seeing all then you're reviewing the whole place and you're reviewing your you know numbers across yeah. and suddenly someone will come inside and say ki label theek lag raha hai Uh, you know so that's the that's the decision making that you do from like a small decision to a large decision and there's so much happening mm. that it was i think it was a lot of fun i i just loved it i just loved the chaos i just loved the you know the whole vibe the energy the, the feel right of yeah so i i love it yeah, yeah. so it's very different so i compensated for that uh, so yeah. malika thrives in the chaos yeah. and i thrive in bringing order to the chaos looking at but i think I I also need somebody like like I've realized lately the importance of having a co-founder who complements what you don't have or who has what you don't have. I think that's all. When I was listening to your podcast, yeah. the last scripted um, one of the episodes, they were talking about having a co-founder yeah. in your partner and all that. I think. And is it important or not? Yes, yes. yes. <coughs> and your relationship also safe because of the. Yeah, right? imagine yes. that's <laughs> the first time I heard about <laughs> it. I said fantastic. On the podcast, so yeah. Like, And as we ended the podcast, and after the podcast finished and the recording finished, he looks at me and says, "You were going to divorce me." <laughs> 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 and I had no idea. <laughs> so I was like, "No, I was not going to divorce you. I, I managed to survive yeah. because we lived together." <laughs> <laughs> and there's a difference. Yeah. 
so a very deep deep understanding and respect for each other got <laughs> developed <laughs> which <laughs> saved the marriage <laughs> sad but but like meko is pe thoda deep jao matlab aap aap kya keh rahe ho like for example let's say you're fighting with him then did the thought come in your mind ki yaar kuch nahi kar sakte business nahi kar sakte like was that the thought of no, it was actually the other way around you know Achha. what happens is that okay. nobody understands the journey of an entrepreneur hmm. like you just don't know what's going on in the mind because you know imagine a space where you are running a full organization where the whole floor drives energy from your energy okay right so you're not allowed to have a bad day right there is no way you can have a bad day but you do need to confide in someone hmm. when you are having a bad day for yourself and for your own good right correct now what happens is that if you're not like for us at least if we were not working together it's very hard for someone to come back and say that i had a tiff with this team member now you know if i just say it it may not be so big for you right but depending on what is the role the person plays in the company how mm. the person needs to be managed what is the personal dynamics that that person has what are the individual motives what drives that person you understand that tiff a lot more better you know it could be just sounding like i had an argument with a someone okay but knowing that someone just changes the entire perspective so what happened was if he had a bad day at work he didn't have to come back home and say it so if there was a reaction that he was doing to something mm. I knew the background to the reaction because mm. I knew what had happened at work, right? Mm. And there is a lot of these moments that oh, yeah. happen which Makes cannot sense. be put in words. Yeah, they have to be understood, saying that yes, he had a bad day because you know, if you voice it, it might not sound so bad, mm-hmm. but in the moment it was very bad. So when you came home, you never had like you understood the reason of why someone was reacting the way someone was reacting because you had background to it. Yeah. It was easy to empathize. It is easy to empathize and more than that you know like there are certain part when you fundraising right your fundraising there's a lot happening during fundraising you're going through a different mind space altogether yeah. so and and at that point of time you need someone to compensate for work and look after work for you and you yeah. know sort of do all do it all there i think there are a lot of these moments which cannot be expressed in words they cannot be told they can't be yeah. spoken you are obsessed about what you're building you're completely obsessed about it you know people keep talking about work life balance there is no work life balance if you decide to start your own company right <laughs> and for a spouse to understand why you are so mm. obsessive is really hard yeah. unless you are a part of that journey yeah. you know then the obsession suddenly makes sense makes a lot of the, sense yeah and like the obsession makes sense and everything sort of eases out and becomes got more normal like i'm yeah. sort of and i know more used to work in mckinsey yeah and he has some really crazy working hours sometimes he was working over the weekend as well and i used to be like what are you doing uh, no time for us this is in london <laughs> this is when he was in mckinsey yeah. london london and, and, and then back here and back, back in their boats right so i was yeah. like you don't have any time for us you don't have this or that so clearly time would have been an issue mm. so the fact that we were doing it together that's that's what saved our marriage like you think <laughs> yeah think about it from the kids perspective so we had two kids right. we have two kids uh during the course of the last 6 years at the mom school my older one has grown from being 5 years old to 11 years old so very formative years of her life yeah. at there are many times when one of us hasn't been around it's really helpful for the other person to be very understanding and be able to explain it to the kids why right not i don't know why he's working so hard this is complete bullshit uh think of it from for example when the sale was happening the idea of selling off your company is very 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 emotional mm. right so both of us went through our own massive ups and downs during that time and we would come home and the kids were saying like what's happening mm. right having one person of the two who's more balanced on that day being able to talk to the kids and take them through the journey is very different yeah. right so it's so being together through the journey i think just helped ride the emotional waves that come along with entrepreneurship both for us individually and for the kids as well Uh, But I think the most important thing here is to make sure that the two people are not just together doing the business because they're husband wife, but also because they have very complementary skill sets. Yeah. Mm. That is very important. That is the key to mm. decision yeah. making. This happened. I mean, we didn't think it would be like that for us mm. because we had never worked together. Yeah. But yeah. करते करते यही सीख के. इसमें बहुत टाइम लगेगा ना. हाँ हाँ. कि आप कर. Okay. I think you mentioned it in in the podcast as well that it it took time. for you to understand what mohit's strengths are and then yeah absolutely yeah, because you we never program. seen each other so you've seen each other work in the context of ghar pe chutti plan karni hai ye plan karna hai and all of that right so we knew that context of yeah so i knew for example that she loves going into details which i don't at all 
right? In every, and it it picks up in very small small things, right? So holiday planning, gift planning, calendar planning, social life planning, all of that was always her domain because right. I sucked at it. But how fantastically that level of details orientation would translate to the day to day of the business, you just have no idea. Mm. Right. So we learned a lot, I think, about each other as well along the way, yeah. which hopefully saved the marriage. Yeah. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> yeah, thank God. <laughs> no, I did my MBA in finance. Yeah. And I did not manage finance at, at work. At yeah. Work. Okay. Right. And I remember mm. while I was doing my MBA, yeah. marketing was a subject I wanted to just stay away from. <laughs> I'm like, listen, it's like a creator's domain. Huh. I have zero creativity born in my body. I'm yeah. not doing this. And I took care of the entire brand, communications, marketing right there. Right? So I think we also discovered mm. our individual strengths yeah, while yeah. working. Well, it's up here. Starting with up here. And then karte, 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 we figured okay, these are the mm. things that I will take care of. And those are the yeah. things that you will take care of. No, I agree with this. Like, again, relate here because I'm an economics honors grad. I uh, did commerce with like BST and economics and maths and all that integration and derivative yeah. <laughs> 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 and I love it yeah. I think uh, yeah. it's like a discovery process keep experimenting yeah. one of your reels mentioned this as well like keep experimenting just keep trying yeah. just keep trying experimenting just keep doing what everything mm. and you'll figure out what you really enjoy doing yeah. the most but I love how people went from we can't invest in couples because Aapka yeah. kal pata nahi no. to investing in like five, six, one of them. Yeah. And like Arjun Trisha is one, yeah. that's Gazal and Varun. And yeah, yeah. yeah. You guys yeah enough well. and more now yeah. who've like set the trend. 100%. Yeah. I what? remember when we were doing our first documentation. Huh. The documentation? Paperwork, the paperwork after the fundraise. Okay. There were clauses put in saying that in case you guys separate, then this happens and that what? happens, right? And the first time I read it, I'm like, what is this? Yeah. Like, really? Like yeah, that. of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was really funny, right? And then. The whole sense of saying it has to be put in, right? So I'm see, sure it's still getting think about litigation to next level. See, think about it from the investor perspective, right? Uh-huh. Even if you are three co-founders, mm. in the documentation there is all of these clauses because they have to protect, right? Yeah, so they don't talk about what if one co-founder leaves, what if two co-founders leaves, what if one takes a lower role, you hire a new co-founder. Typically, all of those clauses are there in the documentation, which you have to think through. Yeah. And, and it's better you think through it now rather than you do after some time, mm-hmm. right? Because right now there's no stakes. Up to best out hire. So imagine now a further complication for them saying yes, up to okay, but now there's kids and a home and an ugly divorce possibly involved. Yeah. How do you deal for all of that? Yeah. What uh, happens if, if, if like there's a divorce involved? So typically it's a co-founder plus plus. So the co-founder situation is we do all of this, right? Then here in the case of a divorce, what typically gets put in is that uh, your shares in the company will get transferred as per whatever the documentation is because it's an asset that you have, right? So if you're doing all the assets go to one party in the divorce, then that ha- that's what happens in this, uh-huh. right? But that has no correlation to your role in the company. So your role as an employee may be different. One may be CEO, one may be CEO. So you think through those two separately. Mm-hmm. One is as a shareholder in the company and one is as an employee of the company playing a role. Mm-hmm. And then you carve out... Co- so is the rise of partner co-founders uh, a parallel key? It's very hard to trust people in general in India. It's a good question. Is it a... I don't think I, it is. <coughs> and I want to sort of say that, you know, India is not a very trust deficit. It's not? Country. No, I, I, I actually do not feel it, okay. right? It's very person dependent on who the person who you're engaging with, right? Mm. They would start from a place of trust unless broken in okay. most cases. Mm. But to get the first level of trust is based on potential. So if people see potential in you, they're very happy to invest X amount of time with you. And in that X amount of time, they figure out whether they want to trust you or they don't want to trust you based on how you behave with them. Mm. I have at least like, you know, while we were building the company in other words, I've not come across people who will not, you'll go and say, I want to do this and they'll be like, jhoot bol rai. Jhoot bol rai will not happen. Mm. There would be doubt of potential. But jhoot nahi hoga. Like that, I don't think that's the kind of trust deficit that people have. Mm. And if they have it, they're very open to talk about it. At least mm. in Delhi, though, they're very open to talk about it. So, mm. you know, like I remember one of the cases where I'd met someone and they were like, I you know, I, 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 I want this. He said, Aaj ka sabko lagta hai na, ki startup chula So they'll be very vocal about the whole thing, right? And, I, and, and to your point of trust, right? Mm. When we started, mm. 
यू बेसिकली रीच आउट टू ऑल रॉ मटेरियल सप्लायर सिंग सैम्पल्स दे दो वी आर डूइंग वी आर प्रोसेस ऑफ आर एंड डी एंड डेवलपमेंट आइडिया बिहाइंड फॉर दैम ऑल्सो इफ यू लैंड अप यूजिंग एनी थिंग यू गोइंग टू प्रोडक्शन फॉर अस डेवलपमेंट टू कर लॉर्ड ऑफ टाइम like a lot of time yeah, and you know instead of two and fro minutes so we landed up taking a lot of raw material and this was over a period of 3 to 4 months mm. that is when when sir supplier called up and said that tum production kar rahe ho kya mere supplies supplies ke sath mm. so you know it was not the first instant but it was mm. after a while when i thought that you know we're taking these samples and actually making a production out of it and selling it to only mm. to realize saying no we are not mm. but we're just still developing mm. and that also was very easy for them to believe right You know, and they believed it, and we moved on. And of course, when the order went to them, things changed. But I never felt that people distrusted. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. I I think maybe that's an interesting nuance, right? That we are possibly low trust in our institutions, in the judiciary, in the decision, in cops, etc., etc., right? Because we haven't reached that sophistication yet. Yeah. But if you look at how business and dhanda happens in India, it's all trust based. Yeah. it is all based on the relationship that you have with the other people right? look at the massive communities the gujarati is a marwadi community pura uske chalta hai pura trust pe chalta hai mm-hmm. right so we are in this interesting ecosystem where we have investors and founders and so on and now that you're part of that ecosystem talking to people it's all trust we know each other intimately because we've seen each other in settings in different varieties of settings for a long period of time right and as you start growing in this journey you actually spend a lot more time so maybe what's happening there is we've come to a realization that in india because relationships are what drive trust right i'm drawing a direct correlation yeah. to husband wife relationship maybe as a co-founder relationship i can trust more yeah. so you don't need to think as much as the western saying separation ho jayega divorce ho jayega etc 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 because here the contours are different right so maybe that's why you're saying the risk reward of trusting a couple hmm. right uh, and taking that risk what is the reward of any any bad circumstance happening is actually far lower but what a good couple can do together now as evidenced by multiple hopefully us and many other couples maybe that says okay you know it's actually worth it we like the idea of having co-founder couples but you're probably trusting them but kabhi aisa thought nahi aata ki let's say two months down the line uh, jam nahi raha hai they already know a lot should we uh, trust them should we not uh, like the fear of them letting that information flow out of the ecosystem and all that does that come as a placeholder example so you know what happens is if you are hiring someone and that person mm. knows something more than what you know it's always an advantage for you right and that's the that's the kind of person you should always hire because when you are starting up and mm. during your entrepreneurial journey correct you can't get someone who has the same skill set as you right you have to get someone more than you like you come with this potential mm. this is what i want you to do mm. are you actually doing it or not doing it right? mm. the number of calls that you will initially take wrong in hiring the number of calls mm. that we have hired wrong on is been immense like because you are talking so closely with that person again goes back to attention to details right uh. he is missing this he is missing this so abhi kar lega do teen mahine tak but then he's not going to not a long call person mm. he's not going to someone who could last for a long period mm. of time so that's when the conversation starts flowing in for me I think through the course was one instant when the person cheated in the company. Wow. Yeah. Right? There's one person who cheated where basically there was a supply that came into it. Yeah. It was some packaging material and when it came into it it was it it failed the QC. Okay. And it was returned back. Uh-huh. And by the customer? No, no, no. Oh, so no, at the warehouse. It's at the warehouse, right? It's at okay. the company level. So the warehouse it was returned back saying it does not match the QC. Right. This guy had a backward conversation with the fellow and got it inverted. So it came in to the office for a check. Everything used to come for the office for a check, and I thought, "What the hell is this? This is how it got passed." So you know, I used to be so deeply engaged with everybody. I called the warehouse to only figure that this guy had some monetary arrangement with the other fellow, and the rejected QC material got inverted again. Yeah. And this is what the other guys told me that, "Ma'am, we have to reject it. We have to approve it. We have to approve it." that day that day we made a public statement by firing the guy on the spot and what we did was we called him inside he agreed to what he had done we stepped up and said this is it today is the last day we will pay you for whatever you have to be paid for your notice period but you are not entering this office again we stepped out of that meeting room discussion addressed the whole team on the floor said this is what has happened and this is the reason why this guy is getting fired because you know in front of the person standing there 
you know because that there is no miscommunication going somewhere outside because mm. there's a lot of these back conversation that also starts so mm. we set it right in front of him and then said do you want to say something to the team right now do you agree to what you have done or not right and he of course acknowledged everything publicly and then he was asked to leave and then it was a statement that we said saying that cheating accepting something by the side is not acceptable by any ground and i think that just set the culture of the organization so whenever something like this happens it's very important to address it publicly to set grounds of saying this is going to be the culture of the organization right yeah so that that is something which you have to work on like throughout on right like isme so nikal diya dusre case mein do team members ek dusre se they were not believing each other like openly having the conversation telling them listen you guys need to get up have the conversation everyone here has yeah. one common goal of making the moms go successful yeah and let's not second judge ourselves right yeah, yeah. and this once you start working on that internally it comes up but it is a work that the founders need to do you know and we have seen enough and more of these examples if the founder is not interested in creating a culture like that that will not be a culture that will get created with say what the culture comes from the top it comes from the top is no other way of doing it right like a bigger organization is even more important because then of course the hr takes it on yeah but this is very important so there were of course moments but if i ever lost trust in an employee i i would not have the person but does that scale to other people or just restricted to one and you'd be like move on so it did scale in one case we learned that's what i'm saying that everything was a learning experience yes yeah. so in one mm. case we took too long to address the issue mm. while it was in our heads mm. and then this one person sort of had this communication with everybody else and na- had their own narrative of what the story yeah, was yeah that's the problem you know which was which was like completely terrible <laughs> huh. and from there we learned saying jo hoga open nahi karenge yeah and who who out of you to like was the was the firer kon logo fire karta tha like who is the ruthless one out of you two the ruthless one you not ruthless actually you not ruthless no. but generally it's still it hard to <laughs> to Make, sure. I think having the harder conversation was always Mohit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Quite hard for you. No, no, no. And who's the team person? The, I tell you how it went. So typically, for most of the people, Madhika was far more deeply involved on a day-to-day basis, in the weeds with them, taking the decisions. Ah. Then it's very hard to have a distance conversation, yeah. right? So which is especially for her team members, there would be one performance related. But I mean, we had few firings through the years. Uh, I would be having the conversation, which is, guys, this is it. We've had this, this, this conversation, uh, and ask the person to go. Mm. And so, I ruthless. I don't know, but objective, yes. Objective, yeah. That like objective, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what it is. Sorry, no, uh, we I can't continue that, as it is. That's not how it happened, right? So mm. we didn't have too many, thankfully. Mm. But the ones nice. we had were. I love how you two disagree all the time. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but I think the ones that we I got used to it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I think the beauty of that was the fact that you know Mohit can have a very nice conversation with someone yeah. to explain the whole scenario of why what is happening. Mm. You know, and for anyone who left, it was very important for us to have a very clear equation with the person who was leaving as well. Right, no matter. how you were leaving whatever ground you were leaving on most it was not performance right. very rarely it was anything else because everything yeah. else was not allowed but it was very it more kind of very like as he said a very objective conversation with the person mm. i was too deeply involved to have that kind of mm. <coughs> right so i think a lot of it was getting them to really understand where you're coming from and what's good for them yeah. in their career and why you're a bad fit why does performance issues happen it mostly happens because the fit isn't right at it very rarely like malika said it's a cheating issue or an intent issue correct and it's just that the person is not fit for the role that has been given them in any shape and form so i thought of my job as helping them understand why that is and now that they are stepping out we can't find a role for you here mm-hmm. but here is what you should actively look for in your next role yeah got it so the most common uh, thing is that unko kya karna hai aur hum yahan pe kya requirement gap hai basically yeah if Like I personally don't enjoy working on Excel sheets. I love having conversations. You give me a job where I have to hundred percent do Excel sheet, I go mad. Uh-huh. At some point of time, I will stop performing. And so usually it's just a match between what the person is great at and enjoys doing, and this. May I put derivatives ka professor banana do ka? How will you perform? Right, it's the same. It's just a mismatch of yeah. what the person really wants to do and is great at. Yeah. Yeah. Say about this. So wh- what are your like? You, 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 as we were mentioning like 15 minutes ago that mohit ki skill alag hai aapki skill alag hai kya exactly like what what did you handle at moms and what did you handle at moms ko which did not overlap at all overlap to hoga i'm sure but kya overlap nahi ho raha tha your department your department so for me 
non overlaps i took care of all finance i took care of all fundraising and all sales okay. right so e-commerce sales retail and later she took on but e-commerce retail marketplace d2c anything tech related all that typically i would do nice. you go to the intern everything everything else so yeah so marketing operations people थी ना कि Uh, अपने फैमिली uh, के साथ या दोस्तों के साथ बिल्कुल कभी धंधा नहीं करना चाहिए क्योंकि अगर कभी फाइट हो गई या कुछ प्रॉब्लम हो गई तो आपका वो रिलेशनशिप भी ब्रेकेज हो जाएगा बट लाइक इट्स स्लोली काइंड ऑफ बट आई थिंक इट्स सब्जेक्टिव फर्स्टली आई थिंक सब्जेक्टिव या अगर आप कम्युनिकेट कर सकते हो एन बोथ ऑफ यूर मेच्योर एंड ऑफ देन आई गेस यूल स्टिल बी फ्रेंड्स इफ नॉट बिजनेस लाइक नॉट एंड यू वुड So no, actually. Yeah, yeah, I would hire a close family. I found agreement. Huh? I found agreement. Yeah, they found it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> <laughs> fine. Yeah, yeah. They, and, and all our family members are going, oh shit. The one thing they agree on <laughs> is that they won't hire us. <laughs> no, so I would hire them, but there are enough. There have been families whom I have hired as interns. But that has also been only on potential. So those people only on credentials. On yeah, on, on on even on potential, right? I I did a lot of hiring on potential. and we did a lot of work with the team to grow them to whatever they like i i really enjoy working with people and growing them in their own fields right? which is a large part of reason that we got people to remember so you know we had our we had our favor right when we said okay we'll get everybody from the ex employees to cover i had my employee number one also show up for that favor mm-hmm. right because and, and at every point every time i would meet him he saying i wouldn't be what i am today if i hadn't got trained under you and there's so many more people who have gone there right? because yeah. i have like That's the best thing. Moved them around and grilled them, and then grown with them, shared their sorrows, shared their family stories, and everything around it. But I've worked with that person, right? So mm. there's a lot of difference in there that comes in. Now, you know, when you put that in context, those people have got like their fair share of feedback from me. Yeah. Now, when you're sharing that feedback with family, mm. and it goes to your chacha and chachi and oh, bua yeah. and pufa, and then it's oh, yeah. like. Then it comes through, oh, yeah. and my dad always tells me, right? Like if you're doing well, then it's far more important for you to be over communicative, for you to be really, really down to earth, and all of that, right? Yeah. It's very easy for that to be construed as saying just because she's doing well, she's becoming snobbish, and that's yeah. not a that's not the narrative you need in your family, right? So I, I would be extremely cautious of hiring hiring family, and Makes even sense. if I do, and that would be on very high potential, but then that person would not have any sort of reporting into me, like they far far. far. so like my engagement with that person has to be as close to such as possible yeah makes sense you, you agree or like you have some other point i agree on this uh, friends i think are different so we do mm-hmm. work with friends in a professional context mm-hmm. i think the clear understanding is we are working with them for their expertise and we don't know right so we are not going to go try and do their job or dig in on a daily basis and try and understand what's happening right so them working for us is different from them working with us right and have you ever like suffered from a founder paranoia of like like sometimes i wake up in the morning i'm like bhai aaj sab khatam ho jayega but then suddenly zero followers ho gaye suddenly koi brands kaam nahi kar raha hai kuch kuch alag hi ho gaya like have you ever remotely felt that or like so many times yeah yeah constantly feel good it's not like zero ho jayega but it's like oh shit abhi itna hi ho gaya hai and you know it's just like oh it's still here yeah i think more than more than Reducing it's just like it's still here, yeah. Right, because your own expectation of growth is just so high in your own head. Stagnancy is what you think. Yeah, like mm. it, it actually will not be stagnant, right? It's mm. in your head mm. that you're feeling that अभी भी इतना ही है, like दस ही बड़ा है, अभी इसी बड़ा है, या whatever, right? Like so, it's, it's in your head. But I think that's the reason why you're a founder, mm. right? Because if you are not dreaming that crazy numbers, if you're not dreaming those big short numbers, if you're not dreaming of that. impossible scale or a feat mm. then you're not the right founder you have to be the craziest person in your team to believe everything else right and then the whole ecosystem around you tries to make that dream come true yeah in some way or the other and grows during the course of it all right so it's important to have those discussions 
Yeah. And it's important to have those feelings. Kuch nahi hota hai. Chalo, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not as extreme as everything will disappear and yeah. go away tomorrow. Yeah. 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 Right. That's constant. And in that given week, in that given month, that's constant. Also, yeah. because like Madhika said, the entire energy of the flow and the company is driven by you. If you sit back and you relax and you say, "Ha, ठीक चल रहा है. I don't need to push harder than this." It is so quickly go down to the team that it has actually yeah. become a reverse gear. Yeah. So you can't let that guard down. You can't go down. You have to be restless and keep pushing all the time. Yeah. Right. What you have to be, and what I realize. What took a long time was to say, "Okay, the restlessness around the business and what the business ends up becoming or doing mm. is very different from me as an individual." That's right? so it. Took me a long time to dissociate from saying, "I am not the mom's company. I am much more than that." What right? Yeah. So I give you an example. If the mom's company thinks so, chal raha hai, mm. the reason for the restless night mm. is not that the company will be finished. इट्स द लिंकेज के अगर कंपनी खत्म होगी तो मैं खत्म हो गया द मिनट यू डिसोसिएट दैट एंड यू से अगर कंपनी खत्म भी होगी ना मुझे इतना भरोसा है कि मैं हंड्रेड कर दूंगा अभी पहले पांच साल लगे थे अब एक साल लगेगा द मिनट यू स्टार्ट टू डिसोसिएट योर सेल्फ फ्रॉम दैट कंपनी और वॉट यूर बिल्डिंग बिकॉज योर हंड्रेड परसेंट ऑब्सेसिंग ओवर द कंपनी यू बिकम वन द मिनट यू डिसोसिएट यार अगर सब खत्म भी हो गया ना तो आई विल कम बैक टू वेर आई एम नहीं योर When you make that distinction, then you see how far you fly. Mm, and having that confidence. And have that confidence, then you see how far. Because then the resistance becomes positive. Yeah. I didn't care. I mean, हाँ ठीक है बेच रहा हूँ ना. So what? Uh, Say what? You know, it is very important to have the thoughts that Mohit is having, right, with yourself. Mm. Which kind of thoughts exactly? You know, where he is saying that you know, like disassociate yourself from okay. the business and all of that, right? Mm. Because otherwise, you will go into depression. Say what? Constantly having that thought, right? But I take energy from actually it's like spreading it by telling people, saying that you know, I'm finding it very regular. Because what will happen is that the team and the top team would all go with saying that, "Acha chal raha hai, acha chal raha hai, acha chal raha hai." You know, because everyone's scorecards are being met, everything is working very nice, the business is growing at a normal place, and that's when the founder comes and disrupts it all, saying, you know. Yeah, everything is very nice. Everything is hunky dory, but that's not what you do a startup for. That's not what you're here for. You're mm-hmm. here for creating bigger, greater shit that people talk about, right? So let's disrupt. Let's figure out what next to do. Let's figure out what next to do. And and you know, over a period of time, I realized that it was these conversations with the top team mm-hmm. that kept them very energized, yeah. mm-hmm. because you landed on attracting similar people around. Mm. You know the way I would go back and say, "Yeah, and they would all be like, 'So now, what do you have to do?' Right? I said, mm. 'Let's do, let's let's do a quick, quick campaign here and there. Yeah. Let's just create a new product. Let's create this thing that's happening, and you know, let's reconnect after two days mm. to figure out what we need to do. Yeah. And in most cases, I had an answer by the end of the day mm. because all those guys were also itching to do something new because you know, but then they had just not realized it. You're the first yeah. one to realize it and pass on yeah. the kiosk to everybody else, and then everybody's like." energize the whole floor gets energized because if you get the feeling then the others are also trickling down and going to get the feeling so it's mm. up to you to also like sort of create that little disruption there mm. up nice baat hai meri team keh di ki main chief aur kya chal raha hai aur kar sakte hain aap that's a fantastic place to be i know meri call shuru ho gayi like that chief aur kya kar sakte hain ceo chalo यही मेरी एवरी कॉल में सारा और क्या चल रहा है बताओ और अगर ग्रोथ या सेल्स वाली टीम होगी और बताओ क्या कर सकते हैं बस लवी टाइटल तो है यार ये अभी चीफ वाला तो मैं अभी इसके अभी लाइक आई जस्ट केम अप विद इट इट्स अ गुड वन आई वाज एक्चुअली वी शुड हैव मोर देन हैव अ टाइटल इन द ऑफिस हां आई डोंट हैव अ टाइटल या ही ही वाज ओनली कोफाउंडर सो वी शुड हैव गिवन यू दिस आई हैड सीपीओ चीफ प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग ऑफिसर या सेम वो कैसा था बिकॉज इट्स वेरी हार्ड फॉर मी टू इमेजिन पचास लाख रुपए पड़े हैं 
एंड मेरे को कल स्टार्टअप करना है दो साल सर्वाइव करना है आई वुड जस्ट बी ऑल कैलकुलेटिव कि ठीक है इतने टाइम सर्वाइव कर सकते हैं एंड देन आई वुड नॉट बी हैप्पी लाइक विद दैट फीलिंग मतलब वो हाफ हार्टेडली मैं स्टार्टअप करूँगा इज वॉट आई एम सेंसिंग राइट नाउ आपने वो प्लान कैसे लिया कि जॉब क्विट करते हैं एंड देन बनाना है तो कुछ नर सो इट्स बिन पेंडिंग वॉज माई आंसर इन स्कूल आई स्टार्टेड लाइब्रेरी वेर आई लॉस्ट ऑन माई मनी Uh, then when I moved for my engineering, I did a computer business because my dad was doing it, so I made and sold computers. So I made McKinsey for seven years, and then I joined Snapd. Snapd, I started startup. So my conversation with myself was, if not now, then when? Right? I understand the market is shit. Madhika has a fantastic podcast. Madhika, which I actually listened to today. 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 Madhika, which I actually listened Otherwise, I'll end up never doing this. So that's how the regret minimization. Uh, I'm constant. Regret minimization is one of my big mantras in life. Mm-hmm. So he said, "Okay, yeah, it has to be now." So we start there. Then we came down to maths. How to do it? We said, "Okay, it's in bank account. Me, hai. Ye dono ghar hamare hai half paid for. Ye dono bech ke hamare itne paise ban jayenge. Ah, we'll be good for two three years." Nee, but the confidence came. Tha no. If you do make it, you seven years. So job to mili jayegi. Yeah, it's like, ah, you will definitely get a job to survive. Right. And Madhika had, you know, by that time been at home with the kids for five years. Very talented, very educated. Mm. Job to Madhika would be made easy if she wanted, mm. right? At any point of time, she would have figured it out. So we had enough saying, "Yar, we're young in our thirties. We can definitely get jobs if we need to, and we have enough money in the bank for two to three years. We have a great idea. It doesn't get better than that. Mm. Right? The situation to start up will only get worse from this. Very rarely you'll be in a situation where I made enough money for a lifetime." Mm. I don't need to money work ever for money again. Then I start a career. That's not going to happen. Right? It's very extremely rare cases. Yeah. So then it doesn't get better than that of having job security, of having money security for two to three years, mm-hmm. having a great idea and a great co-founder. Mm-hmm. So that's what he said. Yeah, okay. Let's go for it. At the back of the mind, there was also if this doesn't work in the first thousand days or three years, we will figure out and one of us will quit and go back to a job. We had that, but. Thankfully, things worked out very differently. In one year, we had angel investors. Then, by the time we actually launched the product, we were doing two lakhs of sales. We raised a crore, right? Like we raised a crore for the angel investing uh, early on. And then you raised four, and then four point five, and then correct. And then eight. Correct. And then eight. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that then sped up. Uh, right? Then so the comfort the, level increases. Yeah. Then the comfort level increases. Mm-hmm. Uh, then the comfort level changes from we know we won't go bankrupt, <laughs> right? तो वो तो नहीं होगा बट द अदर फ्यर ऑफ यार आई होप आई डोंट बिकम अ मिडलिंग स्टार्टअप राइट गोइंग बैक टू माय अर्लियर पॉइंट फॉर अ स्टार्टअप द वर्स्ट केस इज नॉट वी डिड गो बैंकरप्ट वी डिड या या वी वेंट बैंकरप्ट या या वी डिड गो बैंकरप्ट फॉर अ मंथ फॉर अ मंथ व्हाट डू यू मीन फॉर अ मंथ बैंक अकाउंट में पैसे नहीं हजार रुपए पड़े हैं स्कूल फी के पैसे नहीं थे ओ या 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 हां नो माइंड टू पे द स्कूल फी सो यू यू हैड आस्क्ड हिज डैड फॉर द आई आस्क्ड माय डैड Oh yes, yes. Yeah, I couldn't ask. ask. He couldn't ask. I said the school fees has to be paid. He said we'll delay the payment. I said it has to be paid. <laughs> I got a call from the school saying that the school fees not paid. Like it oh, was, damn. it was that much. So then I called up my dad and I said, can you just sort of fill it up, uh, and I will return the money. We'll return the money the next month. So it was basically in the middle. Cash flow problem. It was a cash flow problem because in the middle of the fundraise, ha, so that Sara, so the money had to be paid off. So we loaned money to the company. So that the employees could be paid, but in that context, obviously, we went like completely off yeah. uh, for that particular month. So that paid the school fees, and then next month, of course, we returned so, it all so back, and the money had come. Two things here. Number one, did you guys invest at that time? I'm assuming no. But no, 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 of course not. It's like all investments that were previously made were all withdrawn at that point. Right? But you know what? Like it's 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 sounding like. In hindsight, my heart rate has increased. <laughs> like in so has mine. Yeah, <laughs> Shit. It is, it is, it is, <laughs> remembering those days. But the thing is, it did not sound that it was not that bad at that point. Of yeah, it didn't sound that bad. Just enjoying what you are doing so much that it seemed worth it, and it was not stupid because you knew that this may not be easy, but it was in the middle of a fundraise and the money had to come into the bank, so it would have come in, in the next yeah, one week. The second like. was, yeah, na second, like what people don't see from the chakka chawan the start up from the outside yeah. is that अगर वो downfall हो जाता. Yeah. नहीं होता फॉर एग्जांपल कितने बार हमने सुना है फंड रेज हो रहा होता है सब आ जाता है मोस्टली ऐसा क्यों होता है लाइक ओनली द ओनली द मोस्ट टॉक्ड अबाउट स्टोरीज आर ऑफ सक्सेस वी डू कैन बट द मोस्ट ऑफ द कंपनी वेयर शट डाउन दे वर नेवर स्पोकन अबाउट राइट बट बट इट हैपेंस इट हैपेंस एंड इमेजिन लाइक 
you know, Mohan and I am a grad. Right, I was working in a bank. We all came from yeah, like yeah. yeah, we came from like really well-paying chill, corporate chill jobs, about, right? Yeah. Like life, life was anyway chill. Yeah, I'm yeah. telling you, I was joking with someone the other day, saying that when uh, Myra was born, my first daughter, yeah. she was one year old and she was roaming around. All she had seen was just five star hotels. Yeah. All she had seen was just five star hotels because they were very neat. Like, uh, right? so my mom must start saying she must be getting so enamored by all of it. Yeah. I said no. She finds it regular because that's all she has visited. Right? Yeah, yeah. And then came a time where I was one fine day super excited about a washroom that I saw, which was clean. Because for those two years where we were going into production floors mm. and when you're going into factories, finding a clean loo was the biggest challenge that you had, right? So you mm. do make this. Shift of saying that I'm giving up on all comforts in life. Yeah. You know, I'm going to drive down every day for two and a half hours to be in a place where mm. I don't know how we are eating. <laughs> we we, we eat. are we, we were interviewing someone at Starbucks. Mm. Yeah. So the boss, the person Madhika and me are there. Mm. Uh, the boss, the interview is finished. The person's just got up and left. Madhika goes to the washroom. She comes back teary eyed. Said, "Kya ho gaya? Why you teary eyed? Yeah, acha banda tha. Said, the bathroom was so clean." Oh. <laughs> After so many I days, <laughs> like through the day, finding a nice, and that was the journey that you take, right? But uh, I mean, I, 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 like we, we know, I spoke. About it's all like the timing. But life is all about chances. If you don't take your chance, it's unscripted. No, uh, life is all unscripted. Yeah. yeah. And I, I'm glad, right? To ask your question, say I don't think we'd have ever created the wealth we did. Mm. Had we not sold those houses, yeah. had we not gone down to zero, mm. had we not taken the chance, yeah. only optimistic in life. life and a, a comparative question would be: Is is the money worth it today, or is it the or the more enjoyment which comes from the fact of that power that you had impacted so many lives of the team members that you were mentioning at the beginning of the podcast, which is more fulfilling? So, money buys you freedom. Huh. Right? Huh. Money buys you freedom Anibler, to bilkul. do whatever you want to. Do you know, I think as I kept saying and we kept saying like, बहुत मजा आ रहा था. You know, it was. I don't have any regrets for it and everything. Mm. It's very important to also realize that, you know, when you raise money, you raise money for an exit, and your job as a founder is to find the best exit for everyone who is involved with you at that point of time, right? Whenever, whatever time that happens. Is when you have to go ahead and say yes to it and, and move on in life. Right? Like for us, we knew at this point of time when we were doing what we were doing that we had five term sheets that came to us. Right? There was, could be no better time for us to negotiate and get the best rate possible out of it, and which is what helped us make to the largest B two C exit that the country has so far seen. It was just because we had a lot of people involved in the negotiation and we could sort yeah. really drive value out of the whole thing. Yeah. And everybody is happy. The investors are happy. We are happy. Everybody is created wealth. Come to another point. What stops us from redoing what we did again? Mm. Nothing stops us from doing it again. Right now, you've got the resources. Mm. You have a team mm. who is very happy to come back to you. Mm-hmm. You have investors who are very happy to invest in you. Hundred mm. yeah. percent. You know, you have the whole ecosystem which you know who will support you. And you'll probably what took you last time three years to do will do it in less than a year Save this time Save. with all the resources that you Compounding. have. Right, so, so it not really, and and all of this is happening now, with you never having to worry about money. money. So I don't have to worry about my daughter's school fees ever again in my life. I don't have to worry about कल घर में खाना कैसे बनेगा, or who will pay that bill. Right, that that's all taken care of. Can you imagine the risk-taking ability with which when I go to do my second startup, what would be my risk-taking ability at that point of time? Yeah. Because It's a different level of power that that money and that wealth is bought for you, and that's it. Say what that time question, nice. And then you you mentioned that you had this number at the like you wanted to achieve at the age of forty, right? Yeah. When did you decide that? What at thirty two. At thirty two. Yeah, when I was nice. in McKinsey. जब छोड़ा था ना अपने मैंने तब की बात है ये. उसके पहले की बात है. When I was in McKinsey. It's much. You know how I remember that number. So apparently Mohit had announced that number, mm. and he was once having a deep conversation on drinks with my father. Okay. And he gave that number to my father. Yeah. Your father. My father, saying that you know we generally have this deep conversation, saying what to do, what to do in life, and all this. And because I have to get to this number by the time I turn forty, and then I'll retire. 
Yeah. And my father laughed. And not laugh, like he heard him out. And then eventually on the side, he came and said, Dear Pati, I think he's high. That's a lot of people. And I'm like, no, why, what happened? You know, because, you know, and, and he's like, this is what he has told me. And he, and that number and that figure just stayed with him. Okay? Yeah. He did not say anything to it. Yeah. The company started while home school was doing whatever. One day he comes to me and says, I think he will make it to that number. Yeah. <laughs> what number is this? He didn't remember that day when yeah. we were drinking, he had this number yeah. and whatever it was. So he and I remember that number very, uh-huh. very clearly. I asked him actually. So what happened was when he hit that number, so yeah. my parents were living with us at the time when the whole sale conversation was happening because yeah. my mom had met with an accident so she was staying with us. Yeah. And during the course, he was very involved in this whole deal of sale and everything that was happening, right? So he was yeah. like, number two, hit, okay, number two. <laughs> yeah. and, and I was like, I told Papa saying that, okay, sir, when he told me this was the number he told me, I distinctly remember. My dad has a fantastic memory, yeah. right? He's like a general in the army and all yeah, that, right? Yeah. So, so, then I went to Mohit. I said, there was a number you had told Papa once that by the time you were 40, you would retire with this number in mind. He said, yes, this was a number. Yeah. And the what was the number? Uh, 25 million. 25 million. For oh, some reason, again, dollars. $25 million. Uh-huh. Yeah, the inflation was <laughs> uh-huh. no, no, I, I told him 10 years back and this was the inflation adjusted number. That was 150 crore, I guess. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Around that. Uh-huh. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, so and this is the inflation adjusted number for it, and that number is being achieved. Mm. So that that money hit yeah. the bank. And I don't think he's gonna retire anyway. He's gonna do an like. I no, don't no. Think you're gonna retire now? No, no, can't retire. Ah, wait, wait. But but the my idea of retirement is very different. I I think I will end up doing lots of different things at the same time, more than one one job, one startup only. So you think? So so I think. <laughs> So I think Malika is trying to very aggressively hire me again <laughs> into a next startup. Are you uh, already starting the next startup? I have. Uh, she can't. She restless. Yeah, no, like, abhi to. I've had two ideas. One of which has been knocked out. Yeah. Second idea is boring, abhi. Second idea is boring, so it's it's all there. Yeah. Second idea is boring, so it's it's all there. And and how does that? Now that you've achieved that number, how does that feel? Beyond Papa, I've told you. Yeah. Yeah, actually, he didn't come to dad. Ko tha. No. So, he's been in the thick and thin with us uh, for a long yeah, time as he stayed that. with us. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. so, no. So, it didn't do that. But, uh, gave me a lot of peace. Right? So, which was after the hmm. after the emotions around the sale of the business hmm. settled, hmm. then the emotions around where we are in life is there. But, there's a lot of peace. I'm enjoying. Like Marika said, I'm now saying, I've been working for I kept lots of things on hold. So all of those aspirations, I'm going to take out my bucket list and do it. So I did skydiving in Jan. It's like a plan. So skydiving in Jan. I learned scuba diving. Uh, that was Dubai. Then I learned scuba diving in Feb, which was aspiration. Then March is holiday with kids. Uh, a 10 day holiday, which hasn't happened. I don't know for how long with kids. Uh, we did France. Then I'm going to do this year a bunch of Vipassana. I'm going to take a driving holiday in Iceland with the kids. So I'm going to do everything in one year. That everything that I put on pause for a long time. And do you think that's a good approach? Like, one approach would be that you are still working with each other. But obviously, you are not working with each other. You are working with each other. And then there's a, this approach where you have made the money and now you are enjoying it. Given how obsessive Madhika and me, this is the only approach that works. Because when we were doing holidays, I tell you our first holiday at the mom's school, hmm. uh, we had taken the kids to Singapore. Okay. Right? We were a team of four people at the time. Madhika and me plus two. Amazon का ship में नहीं जा रहा था क्योंकि कुछ boxes पे sticker पड़े हैं और मुझे phone आ रहे हैं मैं वहाँ से coordinate कर रहा हूँ, right? So we were so 100% switched on for so long there was no proper downtime proper 100% holiday. तो कभी हो भी नहीं सकता ना मतलब हमारे founder तो नहीं हो सकता। I think हमारे लिए नहीं हो सकता। I know of other founders who do it really well because their mindset is if I switch off completely for three days maybe the small stuff will break team संभाल देगा but I will come back so recharged at the end of that three days I will do what I need to do as a founder. So, it's a perspective, but it just wasn't the right one for us. You know, I think, uh, just to add to what you were asking and what you are saying, right? Mm. Beyond a particular stage of money making, you don't have to worry about this month, this month, this month, this month, because money makes money, beyond a point. Right? So, once you've reached that stage, you will not do something for the sense of, Aaj, this month, this month, this month, this month, right? you would do something for the much larger good and impact that you can create 
which is not this mahine ke sath that's the stage where i think he personally is yeah right? which is what i'm figuring out which is what he isn't saying that if i have to do something and if I, and time is limited hmm. if i have to devote my time how do i devote my time to something which has the largest impact hmm. more than something that gives me a hmm. monthly salary Hmm. So that's the difference in approach. Yeah. I think that the money that we got bought us that freedom to be able to do this. Hmm. How long will this sustain is a question mark because <laughs> I am thinking that he gets bored of all these multiple holidays that he is taking. I actually had a conversation with him some time back. I said, "Holiday? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. How many days will you take? You are not getting scared, Amy. You are not getting scared, Amy. Of course not. Like I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do this. I said, "Kuch bhi nahi kya hai?" नहीं ऑफ कोर्स नॉट आई ऑफ कोर्स आई डू ऑलरेडी आई डू दैट लॉट ऑफ अदर स्टफ इन द विजुअली बट एज समवन आई वाज जोकिंग विद समवन एंड सेड कि ठीक ठीक है वो आसमान से कूद रहा है पानी के अंदर जा रहा है मैं धरती पे बहुत खुश हूं आई विल फाइंड समथिंग आप वहां से कैलकुलेट कर रहे हो 50000 रुपए की स्पेड है इनटू 12 नहीं मतलब नॉट दैट आई एम जस्ट सेइंग दैट शिट लाइक यू नो लाइक दोस दोस मंथ एवरी मंथ इज स्पेशियस कुछ करना शुरू करते हैं सो आई एम मोर इन दैट जोन्स आई एम होपिंग दैट ही विल गेट bored mm. with it very quickly and then mm. yeah. yeah i i think it's an interesting space so so but i think also the thing is you know now you cannot get into something for the sense of saying ki main busy yeah you will have to get into something when you know there is a solid business there right? mm, mm, the mm, environment mm. right now is not conducive of mm. anything to you know sort of start off and skyrocket very very quickly so yeah. you will have to wait for this time to pass like right? you know as we said that be consistent is one thing but you in that consistency you have to okay. fi- find that phase of time which is high growth say what right? so till you find when that time comes and what is that thing that will go through this high phase it's a it's a realization of figuring out what next to do yeah no yeah you're saying i'm i'm also thinking a lot these days saying if time is limited right the f- most fundamental choice you will make for your career is where to spend that time Uh, but what are the driving factors like for him he just explained that this is his way of thinking what is your way of thinking in that ki ye ho gaya mai ye bhi karunga is this is this coming from because meko ye prove karna hai but i'm sure aapko prove to nahi karna hai aur paise bhi paise is not the factor na to ab kya hai wo impact karna hai ya ek aur dhanda banane ka ek wo hota hai na kya bolte hain usko uh, process of creation was haan. brilliant you know when that customer called and said ki you know my life is changing and i want to this particular thing that you made It was, kick her off. Uh-huh. It was a different kick. When that employee came in and said that, "Ghar bana liya hai maine," and you know uh-huh. we had certain people whose parents were like carpenters, who uh-huh. bought like the first car in the family, and the uh-huh. car got taken to the village. Uh-huh. And when they reached the village, everybody came to see that the car is still there. You know, and, nice. and 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 those kind nice. of stories. When you hear those stories, yeah. you feel like you've made an impact. And I know my amount of money can buy that for you, right? Like it's it's just creating those stories and creating those stories, and which is I find it. I I love working with people. I love growing people. I love seeing how they grow in their journeys or whatever they're building. So I really enjoy the whole process of building. Got it. What well, what are the best ways to make money in India right now for the twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six year round there who want to make their first bank? According to you, best places to invest their time. Be a part of owning a business in any shape and form. You're in a time where Okay. I think looking at the global environment, mm. everything is going to come into India. Like for so, this idea that if we get stuff right, you have an incredible opportunity for the next twenty twenty five years. Mm. That's amazing. The only way to make wealth more broadly is by owning some part of a business, right? Far more than earning a salary, mm. right? And that could be shares, e-shops, equity, Good investing, business. whatever, right? We're just Own a piece of a business because your chances of generating wealth, which is like proper life-changing wealth, is far higher. It doesn't happen by having a job or start a business of your own, whatever. Yeah. But just start, right? It it's unscripted. We will figure it out. Every industry will go through so much change in the next twenty twenty-five years. Mm. If you think about the numbers, people are saying our GDP will go five x from where it is now, mm. right? We're going to become by far the the number one nation in the country, uh, number one nation in the world in terms of investments. Mm. It's all happening, mm. so mm. just learn the art of going back to earlier conversation. If you can figure out that your wealth generation is equity linked mm. and not salary linked, mm. right? Mm. That's one big concept to own. Okay. And so even if you take a salary, you start investing. Yeah. 
And the second big thing to understand is that you are not your business or your choice that you make. And so unlock yourself to be able to take risks. Then I think you're in a good place, right? As long as you keep hustling and figuring stuff out, right. you will end up creating very, very high value for yourself. Right. So take risks and uh, own yeah. a piece of a business. Yeah. Take risks and just understand that salary doesn't generate wealth. Mm -hmm. Business ownership does. As he said, own a part of the business, but be a part of that business. Mm -hmm. Invest in yourself, you know, and your ability to generate wealth. I, I think that's mm -hmm. the that's the best investment you can make. Mm -hmm. So do that. Own a part of the business. Grow the business. We are we are one of the massive, one of the country where the consumption is like really really high. Yeah. Right now, right? yeah. And the opportunities are very very there. It's a, the question is, are you ready to take the risk? And mm -hmm. are you ready to? invest your time on that particular business project idea whatever you have to create what that yeah yeah you know stocks will go through its own journey everything will yeah. everybody says that it's all long term investments keep in mind stay invested right so make a choice and stay invested got it and and how do you guys personally invest your money now like the, like we were talking about three years ago couldn't but now yeah. how do you invest your money or plan to spend your money so there are in fact a lot of avenues where we have spread the money so it's, mm. it's a full conversation happening we have a family mm. office which manages the wealth mm. so there is full and I think now it's uh, we haven't spent so much time we didn't have the money mm. so we didn't have so much time we were right, right now we spent a lot of time mm. figuring out the learning I think yeah figuring out where you can invest where not what uh, are the different avenues that are there so allocate kar sakte hai. everything from like no I think the different outlook at which you're looking at right like mm. How much do you need money now, here and now? How much do you need money over a period of time? So we're actually learning the art of managing our money. Mm. And it's it's quite a learning to do in its own phase. Yeah. Right? Kitna, it's not as simple as kitna debt, kitna real estate, kitna equity. There are lots more nuances in that. Right? Like sure. How much risk can you take? How much risk you don't want to take? What is the monthly money you want? What do you not want? What are the big projects? spend that you would have in a lot of it. So I think we're spending a lot of time figuring that out. Yeah, but with, with the same thesis, practice. right? That this is all growth left in India, so this yeah. is all in India equity. There I is have a part of the money that has been put aside and told to all of them saying that I will withdraw this trunk at any given point of time. Yeah. To do my next it. Mm. So it's 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 all with that thing. It's not all though you can't get a little bit more than a little bit that you figure out what to do. Yeah. So that's the framework you're working on. That's the yeah. framework, very long term, 25, 30 year perspective. Yeah. I mean, think that long, it's fine. Uh, ups and downs, but and think. So I'm think yeah. help from like a professional. Lots of. Yeah, yeah. 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 Got it. Second last question is, uh, one investment, uh, self-investment in yourself that you think is paying a lot of dividends to you guys? I'll go first. So, mm -hmm. uh, and it's actually a very nice confession also. Now I'm doing it so that it's there for everybody, right? Uh -huh. During the course of running the mom school, there was a point in time when I was very, very close to burnout. And me being me, I didn't even identify it, right? Which mm. is also where I'm Mohit... Sure. Yeah, so I was like, Sab chal rai chal rai. And Mohit said, you're going through burnout. Which mm. would be like, I'm sitting in a family gathering or sitting mm. with friends mm. and I would be lost. I'm hearing you, but I'm really not listening to you, right? Because uh. there was so much going on in my mind. And that day Mohit turned out to me and said that you're going through burnout. And I was like, bullshit, like, what uh, are you talking about, right? Uh, and all he did was he sent me this WhatsApp message which says 10 signs of burnout. Uh, I, I, I so, uh, so it was basically things like, you're not present while you're there. Mm. Um, you're constantly thinking of what next to do. Mm. You're constantly on your phone seeing something or the other or the next update available. And they were like this 10, there were a lot of these 10 points. I had 9 out of 10. I had 9 out of 10 at that point of time, right? And uh, that is when I decided to see a business coach. And that changed me completely. Yeah. Oh, it just changed me as an individual. Not just, it was not just uh, me who saw it. It was also everyone around me who saw it saying that there was a lot of change in me. Because I think what the coach helped me do was that coach helped me prioritize. And more than that, I think sometimes you just lose track of what are the priorities that you should be focusing on yeah. right 
the coach kind of helps you figure out saying these are the mm. five most important things in your life mm. you need to find time for all these five things because if you're not mm. finding time for these five things you will always be in this loop saying shit because we can't even we can't even we can't even we can't even right right so these are the five more important things this cannot be altered with beyond this five isko tum mat karo delegate karo ye tumhare dimag mein chhod do aur agar ye nahi bhi hua to you are not taking road over but these are the five things to start with and it was the most interesting thing to start off with my first exercise that she told me to do uh. was to write down 10 things of why i think i'm a good mother mm. and half my things finished then because i think the biggest guilt i was living with mm. is that as much as i was so obsessed about work that i had mm. no clue mm. what was happening in my children's life right mm. so i could not miss their pdm but if someone asked me which section your daughter is in i wouldn't know mm. like i was in second standard first second but i did not know what their first standard sections were i don't remember it right so i think and that was a story and narrative that kept building on my mind i was putting too much pressure uh. the coach just helped me sort of figure out these are the five most important things in your life and that investment uh. of getting someone how long was this i think she gave me for 3 months no no oh, long ago you did 10 sessions with her so that's one session a month so yeah 10 sessions 10 months yeah, right 10 months and was is the kind of business coach who would help you in business or like like as spoke help to help you run the help you run the leadership yeah. coach the leadership so the leadership coach, coach but who understands the context of business and founders and women in particular and you know and, and the other imp- very important thing was as you said right when you start hiring people who are all smarter than you hmm. and they know more than you right hmm. so when you're starting you know your business very well hmm. the the realization that you would be that one person who would know your business the best hmm. irrespective of really smart people joining you as the CXO roles mm. is a very important realization to have and i think she just helped me realize that she says you know like what mm. would i do you know beyond the point when i hired my uh, you know when i hired my CFO or when i hired my marketing head all of them came from like experiences of having worked in for instance l'oreal and other bigger companies and then coming to us right someone who worked from kama came back someone worked in like Really large company. The company like really like I had my mm. my retail head was from Pepsi, right? And when I'm having a first conversation with him and he says GT me char type ke businesses hote hai, I had to tell him okay, tell me what are these char type businesses? Okay. General trade, in the general trade kind of a business. So you have like modern trade, general trade, and uh-huh. other type of businesses. So still, so he said GT ke business me ye char types of things fall into this, right? Ah, uh, I'm that like, that what are these four things? Uh-huh. Like, explain me more about it, right? And this guy is like. 15 20 years of having worked in Pepsi when he comes in and I have no clue of how the retail business was how do you still mm. be that person or the very, leader very good point. and what do I guide him with so it's very easy to feel lost at that point of yeah, time right like how do I add value in that person's life is personally for me as I said it was very important to grow my people so how mm. do I do and then how do you make that switch from giving gyan to becoming an enabler for that person and being comfortable in that right that is a journey which i had to take with the coach and that's the kind of help that the business coach does for you love it's it. incredible like love incredible it. like i was a different person at the end of the day and i i mean i don't realize as i said i realize i don't have to give gyan all the time <laughs> i have to enable people to be successful in their own roles because Say everyone that. will be you, you know in their vertical they would always be better But that one person who has the outlook of the entire business is always going to be me. Right? Yeah. So that's the value I add to business. Direction. Not, yeah, not. Today, ye soccer kaise karna hai ya ye kaise karna. That was not what it was. Got it. That was the best investment. So investment today that I'm doing, I've been doing for the last one year. The pressure of a good answer is high. The pressure of a good. I don't have. Don't even compete. <laughs> The second thing I've learned while working with Malika is don't even try and compete. <laughs> you will always lose. <laughs> oh, nice. So yeah. no, but for me the last one year actually has been all focused on health. 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 So I have started gymming thrice a week, squash thrice a week. I got a nutritionist, eating healthy, mm. because uh, so Malika slightly older to me by a few months. Uh, there was a period of six months in between where she says, "You wait. When you turn forty, all your aches and pains will start, <laughs> and all bones will start creaking." Mm-hmm. So then it, I said, okay, challenge accepted. Mm-hmm. So last one year is on with health focus. So I'm actually feeling stronger, faster, better than I have fitter for the last I think eighteen years maybe. Yeah, it's been like proper focus. So very high levels of energy. I mean, nothing was done for five years. I think yeah, like nothing was done for five years. Health ke liye. Nah, focus hi kya na health pe. Eat at random times. Yeah. Like working till like two in the morning. 
getting up at 5 6 in the morning ah so be sabhi uthte ho na log ha main छुट्टी चल रही है Do all of that. He invest and get back mm-hmm. on health, and more so, like he is doing it for himself. I am saying that in my current health condition, I cannot do another start. Especially that first few years, one two years, mm-hmm. unless you are very strong yourself, it will be very hard to run it. Mm-hmm. You can't do it with back pain. Hurry here, you know. Like I went to a checkup, and then he's like, uh, the doctor's like, on your back, your L one, L two, L four, L five are all degenerated. Degenerated. Ha. in this way it's like okay this is you better start doing something to strengthen it right? because bethe hue kaam kiye ja rahe kiye ja rahe kiye ja rahe kiye ja rahe kabhi dard hua hi nahi pata hi nahi chala i mean like you know that the adrenal rush of just building was so high that you never realized there was a pain in your body or your body was giving you signals right so uh, yeah so both of us now has hmm. instructors and nutritionists managing hmm. food health fitness or Yeah. Okay, this is a, this is the one year of um, I think sa- no so this was a quote someone had said it's like have you ever seen a slingshot Sling- right ah, I say kis tarah na so this is their one year ah. we're pulling back chutti kar rahe bucket is khatam kar rahe health pe dhyan de rahe meeting interesting people spending time with the kids yeah iske baad fir se slingshot karenge yeah.